Hi, uh, my name is Tom Yeah, I am a graduate student at MIT, uh, the Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Laboratory, and I work with Professor Randy Davis. Mm -hmm. And I have been here. This is my sixth year now. Mm -hmm. I've working. I've been working on sketch recognition for about five of those six years. I'm particularly on this project, which is recognizing chemical structures as well as other types of um, diagrams. And once you're done, we can ask the computer. So it's already shown you what um, its recognition is based on the color mm -hmm. output. We can also have the computer export a version of this into ChemDraw, which is sort of the industry standard for creating chemical structures. And here we can see our structure exported into ChemDraw. There's a standard sort of observation that's been around for a while, which is that um, technologies tend to proceed from um, uh, remarkable and amazing to routine to invisible. And when they're invisible, then you know they're really successful. Mm -hmm. uh, and the standard, one of the standard examples of that is electricity uh, and power. Mm -hmm. So first it was amazing and it was obvious, and then it became routine and now it's invisible because mm -hmm. it's there, it's ubiquitous, you forget about it, it's there when you want it. And it's been said before, but it's clearly continually becoming more and more true that computation is heading the same way. Originally, it was an amazing thing that you had to go someplace to use, mm -hmm. and then everybody could have one on their desk, and then everybody could carry around a laptop, and now we've got phones, of course, that are more powerful than some of the original laptops. And um, pretty soon, even that will shrink and become virtually invisible. People have talked about wearable computation for a while. And I don't mean it so much in the sense of clothes, though some people have talked about that. I mean it in the sense of, I put on a wristwatch every day. Um, perhaps at some point in the future, my phone and my computer uh, will be the size of my wristwatch. And it will be a convergence of um, the technology that's so ordinary that I just wear it every day and I'm surrounded by computation.